How you may yield? Uncle Jimmy. Here I am. How are you? My dear, throwing cross canvas and preserve is our subject. We we'll divide this subject to simplify to many parts such as Part A, energy bar. Part B, velocity suspension at laminar flow. Part C, velocity suspension at temperate flow. And Part D, flow through simple pipe system. More than Part E, flow through compound pipe system. Part F, flow through pipe network. Part G, flow through a pipe has a multi analogous outlet. Part H, water harm phenomena. And part I, water pipe interiors and stresses. Part A, energy lines and frictional resistance. My dear, when you flow, flow inside a cross canvas, and completely filling it and separate it from atmosphere, the flow at this case will occur between any two points in the direction of flow only due to the difference in the potential head between these two points, which equal to position head plus pressure head, as shown in the enclosed figure. Part Figure showing pressure flow in closed canals. Looking, my dear, to the position head, the pressure head, and the velocity head. More than, not both, the head gradient line and total head line. Suppose a closed circular canal horizontal path has a constant cross section, A and diameter B, where mean velocity V of flow takes place in the direction from point 1 to point 2 of distance F, on the direction of pipe center line. If the pressure intensity at point 1 is P1, and at point 2 is P2, then the pressure head at the two points would be equal to P1 divided by gamma, and P2 divided gamma also, respectively, as gamma is a strict weight of fluid as gamma equal rho multiplied by g. Since the drawing gradient indicates the potential head at any point where it is equal position head plus pressure head. As the cross section area of pipe is constant along its length, this is meaning that the velocity of flow V and consequently the velocity head which is equal to v squared divided by 2g will be constant also. Hence, the total head line THL or total engine line GEL and hydraulic gradient line HGL will be parallel at a distance in between equal to the velocity head which is equal v squared divided by 2g. By applying Bernoulli equation between point 1 and point 2, taking the pipe center line as data, so the position head plus pressure head plus velocity head at point A equal position head plus pressure head plus velocity head at point 2 plus HP, which is equal the loosest head between the two points 1 and 2, and it is basically due to the directional resistance of pipe force. Look, my dear, delta P will be equal to the difference in pressure between the two points, which will be equal to gamma multiplied by HP, which meaning the equation of fluid multiplied by losses head between the two points. My dear, follow the equation which concludes the calculation of the shear stress tau at pi 4. Look, my dear, to the value of square root of tau divided by rho, which is known as shear velocity. 
is calculated and so follow the equation by yourself. It is clear and easy. According to my equation, the direct radius R can be expressed as A divided by B. By substituting the equation, then the seen velocity equals square root of gravitational acceleration G multiplied by slope of the hydraulic gradient line I multiplied by hydraulic radius R. Follow it, my dear, as shown in front of you. Types of flow in closed canals. Normally, there are three types of flow of flow in closed canals under pressure. May desires and take place such as laminar, turbulent, and or transitional. The laminar flow occurs where the fluid moves in layers or laminar. Well, turbulent flow occurs where the fluid molecule is moving on a random motion with high speed in all directions, while transitional flow occurs where the flow assumes a state in between laminar and turbulent condition. Calculation of Reynolds number. Follow it as it clear in the enclosed equation. It's very important, my dear. Goodbye.